everybody, this is Agent Ice. Today I'm going to show you how to defeat Mutalist Alad V on Eris. Um, McNasty here is kind enough to host a key and uh, bring me along, so uh, let's see this boss. Now, Mutalist Alad V is a variant of Alad V. He's, he's different, though, from when you fought him on Jupiter. The infestation's kind of taken over him, and uh, <clears throat> he's got some different stuff going for him. So instead of having the hunter's Zanu or the Zanuka with him, uh, he's just going to have a bunch of infested enemies, kind of protecting him and stuff. He also has a weapon that's pretty damn powerful. Like this thing can probably one shot a lot of people. So you want to be careful about that. And he has another ability where he can actually take control of your team members and make them attack you. So you could be fighting him and all of a sudden you lose control and your dude's automatically trying to kill your teammates. So that's one thing you want to be careful about. Now if you stay invisible, like I am with Loki, you know, that won't be an issue, but, uh, you know. Now, the mind control effect is temporary, so you don't have to worry about it too, too much, but again, you know, if you get controlled, let your team know. Um, another thing to keep in mind for this, so this version of Alad V actually goes invulnerable, and... You have to wait for him to attack uh, before, you know, you're able to hit him again. So, that's another thing to keep in mind. Now, if you have a frame or anything that, I don't know, does a damage over time or you can do a damage over time effect, as soon as you start seeing numbers, you'll know you can start wailing on him again. Uh, that's one good way to kind of go about doing that. <clears throat> so as you can see, he looks a little bit different now. He's not too, too different, but he definitely is different. Getting shocked. Hey, look, there's a corpus dude. Oh, not anymore. Okay. Uh, he got... Destroyed. Anyway, I'm going the wrong way, I think. Yes, I am. That's weird. Something knocked me down. Oh, here he is. So that's what he looks like. He's a little, he's a little, uh, gnarly looking now. But his gun there, that'll probably one-shot most people. So I'm going to go invisible here. Okay, I actually am invisible. It's... Okay, I know what's going on here. So, Tan Lee from my clan just got controlled. So he's going to try to kill us. So I'm going to try to get... Where is he? Where is Alan B at? There he is. And he's invulnerable, of course. There we go. Nailed him in the face. Ah, uh, so much stuff going on. So, again, he's invulnerable. You can see that green force field around him. When that goes away... Which is usually after he does some sort of attack, you can hit him again. Alright. That's weird. Well, whatever. So, I shot him in the back of the head with my bow and he went flying. Um, there he is. Just kind of laying there, all dead. Alright. Let's get out of here. Uh -oh.
So now all you have to do is escape just like after you kill any other boss. Um, I don't know if Alad V actually drops anything that good, to be honest. Um, I don't think he dropped anything that great that time from what I saw. So, we'll get outside here where there's no oxygen so we slowly die. All right, and uh, there you have it. So you defeat this boss, all right? You're gonna get Mesa parts for the Mesa Warframe. Um, now, if you want to do this boss fight, you're going to have to do the Patient Zero quest line, which you have to make the key for. The key is in the market. So if you buy the blueprint for it, craft it, you'll get a mission storyline thing that uh, you go through, it'll get you a blueprint to make a key. And you can get the mutilist coordinates from doing either Arokan Derelict Defense, uh, Arokan Derelict Survival, or, you know, certain invasion missions where that coordinate is your reward. And then you, you get, I think it takes five of them to make a key. Ah, oh, it's three. All right, takes three to make a key. I would suggest doing a key share if you can, but, uh, you know. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. This is Agent Ice signing off.